Konnichiwa, Chris Yakiyama, and today I'm going to go over using multiple de-essers in your vocal chain. Uh, let's get straight to it. So these are the three de-essers that I use. I actually use them back to back to back. Is this what is going to work best for you? I don't know, you know, but this is what I do. And these are the plugins that I use. So the key thing when doing this is I'm attacking different frequency points. So the first de that I'm using is going to be this Lindell 902. I'm hitting 4K with this de So let's go ahead and listen. This is the same song, Santiago and Nina, which is from the fashion and producer Trent Taylor project. You owe us with interest. I had the pleasure of mixing. Y'all go stream that. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, so let's go ahead and listen to what the first thing is taking out. Uh, just a heads up, since I'm going to be doing the detector mode on all these, these are going to be harsher frequencies. So make sure you guys turn your headphones down so you know you're not hurting your ears. Here we go. You know what? And actually for this, I will go through and mute the music. Usually I don't, but this is important. Focusing on vocals. All right, here we go. You guessed it was fast. Expect me to spaz, I do crowd work on you heckless, when a heck of a blast, my necklace glass, buckets of VVS at the splash, I reckon you mad at my fresher than a peppermint swag. So what what I'm going for with this is, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of cutting some of that 4K or dynamically controlling some of that 4K. So when I go through and do some boost later on, you know, I'm not having... You guessed it was fast. Dead Prezi slept in the stash. I'm not having a bunch of that. Right. Okay. So next one is the Pro DS. I really like this one because it gives me more of a, uh, I'm able to have basically more control over the frequencies that it's tackling. This is, I think this is what it comes with stock, you know? And then, so this is what this is when it's hitting. So it's going for more of that higher, higher frequency stuff. You guessed it was fast. Dead Prezi slept in the stash. I might just buy a Tesla to crash. Expect me to spaz. I do crowd work on you heckless. When a heck of a blast, my necklace glass. Buckets of VVS at the splash. I cool. So this one's attacking more harshness. This one's attacking more sibilance and a, a lot of that high end stuff too. So, um, the last one is this waves deesser. Let's go through, and this one's doing 92, uh, 9.2K. So let's go listen to what this one's taking out. You guessed it was fast. Dead Prezi slept in the stash. I might just buy a Tesla to crash. Expect me to spaz. I do crowd work on you heckless. When a heck of a blast, my necklace glass. So it's very important that I go through and I, me personally, I, I tackle all of these different ranges because by me going through and controlling harshness right here, sibilance, and uh, kind of like really the sharpness this is probably how I would explain what these three DSs are doing. Uh, harshness, overall sibilance, and then sharpness. By controlling these three things, when I go through and I compress and I go through and really do additive EQ, whether I'm boosting with EQ or uh, saturation, I know that I'm tackling these things prior. So my boost can be smoother because last thing I want to do is boost and create more problems than I need to create. You know, if I boost something, yeah, I might have to, you know, still do some subtractive EQ after the fact or some DSing, but I won't have to do nearly as much if I take care of those problem frequency frequencies prior to making those boosts. So let's just play all of these before and I'll bring them in one by one. 
You guessed it was fast. Dead Prezzy's left in the stash. I might just buy a Tesla to crash. Expect me to spaz. I do. Oh. You guessed it was fast. Dead Prezzy's left in the stash. I might just buy a Tesla to crash. Expect me to spaz. One last thing to note. Because this VLC sounds so damn good and I'm saturating it. It is taking care of some of that harshness. If you saw my VLC video, like I mentioned, I use this everywhere. So because I am saturating this, it, it is helping me out a lot. And guys, look, I'm doing a 6 dB boost. So that is kind of tricking, trickling down to some of these DSers. But this is doing the saturation. I'm going to do a whole video on that too. Saturation, uh, it helps with smoothing out those harsh frequencies. So let's do it. You guessed it was fast. Dead Prezzy's left in the stash. I might just buy a Tesla to crash. Expect me to spaz. I do crowd work on you heckless. When a heckle of blast, my necklace glass. Buckets of VVS is the splash. I reckon you mad at my fresher than a peppermint swag. This rap race is a drag. You always stepping in last. Blessing with game is good, but it's rhetoric bad. And hell in this gas. My heat will leave your melanin rash. I'm decorated to death. Dedicated, I can confess demonstrated how to flex no debate and i'm the best levitated out the west took my talents to the east there it is guys Mo using multiple de-essers to attack different frequencies like i said first one was really more for harshness second one was for overall sibilance and this one was just attacking a very sharp frequency that kept coming up with specific consonants so i hope that was helpful if you use multiple DSers. Drop in the comments what type of or what brand of DSers you use and find best for how you get down with your music. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. But like, subscribe, and until the next time, y'all be good to y'all selves. I'm gonna see y'all soon. Peace.